Hi, I'm Xing Jian, and me and my co-authors Zi Hang, Ruzhou, and Vikas, we want to thank the conference organizers and the award committee for this honor. I would like to take this opportunity to highlight the results described in our paper. To describe the problem we study, let me start with a simple association analysis task. Say between only the genotype X2 with cognition or brain function Y, but devoid of the influence of age X1 on Y. For this, we check the amount of variability in Y explained by X1, take it out, then we look at the association of X2 to the residual remaining in Y. More generally, in neural network training, we may be interested in the more general types of associations and conditioning, where X1, X2, and X3 correspond to models encoding some concepts. Questions of this type come up often in fairness, where we think of the sensitive attribute as a nuisance variables, as well as in learning disentangle latent representations and imposing or checking conditional independence during training. Let X1 and X2 correspond to neural network models for two different concepts or measurements. The association task essentially involves comparing the functionality of these two models. This is a little problematic when the architectures are different. Some form of this problem is tackled via adversarial modules or variational relaxations. It turns out Statistical association dealing with the functionality of these mismatched network models can be approached using the idea of distance correlation. It gives us a mechanism to characterize relationships between X1 and X2, or how this changes when conditioned on X3. Interestingly, this can leverage calculations that are mostly restricted to functionality comparison within each model rather than the terms that involves explicit comparison of functionality across models. Based on these calculations, we can interestingly talk about the independence and conditional independence. Our paper describes how this measure can be reliably calculated and optimized within the standard pipelines currently used by many of us. We show that this idea is useful for finding m different good solutions. Similar to classical work from the mid-2000s, this has implications for adversarial robustness. Minimizing distance correlation in the latent space offers a mechanism to get disentangled representations. And finally, partial distance correlation provides a strategy for conditioning, so that we can answer questions of the form that, what has X2 learned above and beyond what X1 has learned? Again. Thank you and please reach out to me if you have any questions.